Really, like one, uh, some minutes ago, I did a keynote, I think, and then uh, we have to close in. As I said it last year, and it's for me every time at the conference, it's like an explosion of uh, impressions and things, and it goes way too fast, way too fast. So I always tell people, ah, let's skip the whole closing session, right? Because it's so ridiculous, it's such a weird thing. I don't know any conference that has a closing session of some kind. But it's a tradition, apparently, in the Blender uh, conference history that we come together to close and to clap a little bit and laugh a little bit. And, uh, I will say a few words. Uh, for example, I prepared a few things to say, like uh, one of the thoughts I had yesterday about uh, the Blender conference was, uh, this is actually not even a conference. It feels more like the Blender Festival, right? As if like, you have uh, Coachella, or you have Glastonbury, or uh, Rock Werchter, and we have those Blender contributors and Blender artists, and they are the rock stars, and we are celebrating them. It's a, it's a festival. And for me personally, it actually feels like organizing a three-day birthday party, right? <laughs> That's the, you invite 700 of your best friends and you get them all in and you make sure that they have a good time. And for me, walking around, I did it all the time, and seeing all you guys having fun, that's my pleasure, right? That's why I do it. I really like to see everybody having a good time. But that's what we, we do it here for. I also had a, a fun talk with a person who was here at the very first Blender conference, 2002, 21 years ago. And that was super small, with 80 people, 100 people or so. And we were talking, I said, yeah, and actually, eh, the whole mood, the whole atmosphere is still the same. It is still intimate, it is still friendly, it is still open, it is still people having fun together. So with 740 registrations for this event, I still feels like it's a little compact, intimate uh, Blender conference. So. I hope you can keep it that way because unfortunately we had to say no to probably 100, 150 people who also wanted to have a ticket. And even though it didn't always feel full, but for safety reasons, fire safety, there is a maximum amount of people that can be in the building at any time. So we can squeeze it maybe a little bit, but 700, 740 registrations is like the maximum. So next year we will be here too, right? And uh, next year we will have then the conference LA. So I hope that will also take some of the interest away. But if next year the conference is even sold out like two months in advance and we get like hundreds of people begging, please, please, we also want to be in the Blender conference, then we might have to look at even a bigger place, right? I don't know if we should do that. You can advise me, tell us what to do, what you like of this event. Uh, I hope you had a good time, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, I don't know. Shall we go bigger or not? Maybe not, right? No? So maybe we have to do some really bad decisions with Blender so people stop using it <laughs> and then we can have uh, a, a nice, cozy conference again. Huh? Let's try. Anyway, so I want to say thanks to a couple of people. <coughs> um, first of all, I want everybody to make a lot of noise and uh, appreciation to the speakers who made this like a great event. <laughs> to all the speakers. <laughs> <Woo! coughs> and then of course the, uh, the venue, uh, that's called uh, Amar Podia, is the company behind it. Uh, the whole Felix Merite staff, uh, the technical people to the uh, catering and everybody behind the scenes. Thank you.
So my thanks also go to Anja and Anna for doing the store and doing all the finances and in the background that also helped make this conference a success. Thank you, Anja, Anna. I want to uh, send special thanks to a new person who worked for, uh, at the conference for the first time to do speaker management, coordination and hosting. That's Fiona. <laughs> Fiona Cohen. Where's Fiona? Here? In another room. Thank you, Fiona. So, uh, the photographer I would like to thank. I think yesterday the photo booth was just amazing, right? And I, 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 it's my personal favorite, and that's why I was there all the time, getting people to, uh, to make great portraits. So thanks also to Rick, Yalti, and Pablico to shout and scream at everyone to, to get the best performance out of them. Thank you. <laughs> and I want to uh, thank Francesco. Come in. You will do... He did half of the conference, if not more, and uh, he has a couple of more people to say thank you to. Yes, just a couple. Like, I wanted to do the trick that you can fold the sheet and it rolls down 10 meters, but uh, I didn't have time. Okay, but a couple of uh, logistic things first, so then we have a grand finale. Uh, there is an open bar after this, so something to look forward to, and it's in the market and uh, in the cafe here downstairs, but not in the yellow bar up upstairs. Um, the last drink is at 7 p.m., and then we try to gently leave the building before 8 p.m. That being said, uh, I would like to thank the team from uh, Faber, especially uh, Eric and Mark, and uh, the rest of the team, and they handle all sorts of uh, challenges that we encounter, and they help us, uh, they solve them in the smoothest way, and uh, we didn't miss a single recording, so everything is going to be online, and everything is going to be great, so thank you guys for an amazing job. Um, the venue staff for the AV, Charlie, Jonathan, and Camila, they were miking up and comforting all the speakers and running around making sure that all the rooms had sound. Thank you. <laughs> the uh, designers, these uh, characters that you've seen uh, around and uh, that have been uh, sparking lots of uh, questions and curiosity, that's the work of uh, Hoax Design that helped us with the identity of the conference this year, the design of the program, so uh, give it up for them. The team that has been uh, shooting videos uh, all around the clock, uh, Haru, Mike, uh, Bo, and Nick for filming, like all the daily recaps and the interviews and all the material that will be in our recap video. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to Bo for uh, designing and putting together the playlist for the uh, animation festival and coming up with all the designs and everything that you've seen during the festival. Thank you, Bo. We had lightning talks, and uh, uh, Thomas have been patiently collecting every single thing and putting it together in a nice list, and everything was ready, and then five minutes before, his computer exploded, and then nevertheless, he managed to carry it through and make it happen, so thank you, Thomas. <clears throat> and uh, uh, thanks to our DJ VJ set, uh, Daniel English, Dana Cooper, and David Barron for uh, uh, helping us to party yesterday night. Then we have uh, uh, Marit, Sandra, Publico, and Andy, and all the others that helped with the store next to uh, Anya and Anna. Thank you. <laughs> and also thanks to the whole studio, the Blender Studio, the Blender HQ team for helping during the days leading up to the event. It takes a while to pack and build everything and move it from one place to the <laughs> other, and people have to stop doing their job and become movers for a few days. Uh, in particular, thank you to Andy, Publico, Simon, Trisha, and Ines for helping with the build of the, uh, the setup and everything. So thank you. <laughs> And then we have, uh, thank you, Arndt and Sebastian and Nick for the IT setup, all the computers that were working most of the time and the IT infrastructure, thank you. <laughs> thank you to Pablo Vasquez for the Blender Conference website and some social media posting. 
Thank you to the people who did the video processing because all the talks, right? It's almost uh, 90 talks that need to be recorded, moved onto a computer, cut the beginning, cut the end, put the title at the beginning, put it on YouTube. It's a lot of work. So special thanks to Matt, Dalai, Rick, Inesh. And uh, thank you to Inesh for helping to manage the recording of the schedule as well. And uh, special thanks to Sergey for being the full-time receptionist on day one and uh, managing all the uh, screens in the venue with the times and everything that you've seen on the, on the stairs. <laughs> finally, almost finally, thank you to Fiona for enabling me to spend even more time to uh, talk to everyone during the event and doing the speaker management. Thank you, Fiona. A special thanks, of course, to Bastien, who has been managing the logistics of the event and uh, the recording and the uploads and a lot of things like he did last year, even more this year. Thank you, thank you so much, Bastien. <laughs> thank you, Ton, for always shining so bright. Thank you. And, uh, I mean, thanks to all of you, because to continue with uh, uh, Ton's analogy about the Blender being like a festival, like, I feel very proud that I uh, get to play a small part in this and uh, uh, get to invite new talents, almost discover new talents, and give them a, a platform to share uh, their work and uh, new ideas and their inspiring stories, uh, both on the stage and off the stage with everyone. So, thank you all and uh, see you next year. <laughs>